Yup. The news today is fire. Let's go. OB1 play. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 play. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video give it a big like 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 thumbs up also we are having a playstation 5 console giveaway one subscribe to this youtube channel right here two follow me on twitter all right let's get right to the news <laughs> Your boy's been in Miami for the past couple days. That's why you haven't seen any content on the channel. But we back, boys. Let's talk about the first news item, and it's major. This is coming from ClutchPoints.com. A new rumor that a new Metal Gear Solid game is to be announced on August 10th at the time of this video. That's tomorrow. And when I first was reading this, I was like, nah. But then I was like, hold on. Check this out. And this is crazy. The whole, it's a whole saga that's been going on on the internet. But it's, it makes some sense. Die Hard Metal Gear Solid fans are speculating that an upcoming abandoned trailer is actually a Metal Gear Solid game in disguise. <laughs> This trailer will be released on abandoned PS5 trailer app, which can be downloaded ahead of the game's release quarter 4, 2021. Check this out. Blue Box Game Studios, the indie game developer of Abandoned, swear that their project has nothing to do with either Kojima Productions or Konami. This gets crazy. Still, fans are convinced that Abandoned is a meticulously planned marketing strategy to announce a new Metal Gear Solid game stealthily. And so the fans are saying this is all, they're, they're just doing this as a marketing strategy for Metal Gear Solid. I'm like, nah, bro, but wait, this is just, it's all starting to make sense. Watch this. Initially, fans speculated that Blue Box Game Studios' upcoming PS5 exclusive game Abandoned is a PT reincarnate. The new horror game has a lot of similarities with the ill-fated Kojima uh, Girl Murmo Silent Hills project under Konami. But a statement from Blue Box Game Studios dispelled the rumors, reiterating that Abandon is a new IP with no ties to Konami or Kojima. However, Blue Box Game Studios uploaded an image, this is where it gets interesting, showing the face of a character with an eye patch. They uploaded the image showing the face of a character with an eye patch. <laughs> Check this out. Metal Gear Solid protagonists Naked Snake and Solid Snake both wear eye patches for the majority of their appearances in the series. This turned the fans' attention from PT from Silent Hill to Metal Gear Solid, another IP closely related but no longer affiliated with Kojima. It fueled even more rumors that Blue Box Game Studios is a rogue company meant to mask a different company, either Kojima Productions or Konami. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Are Blue Box Game Studios and Blue Point Game Studios related? The article asks, Metal Gear Solid Remake confirmed with a question mark. It's worth noting how Kojima Productions has had a fruitful relationship with Sony. Their first project, Death Stranding, launched as a PS4 exclusive. Recently, Sony leaked their acquisition of Blue Point Games, games with a social media post. Blue Point Games was responsible for a couple of remakes 
Most recently, Demon Souls for the PS5. Shout out to Runners, who is helping me get one of the trophies. He helped me get um, a ring that I really needed last night. I'm trying to platinum Demon Souls. Lit remake. The similarities between the names of Blue Point and Blue P Box further fuels the rumor, insinuating that by virtue of both being close to Sony, that Blue Point and Kojima Productions are somehow connected. Metal Gear Solid Remake? Question mark. We'll see. So a couple of this stuff makes sense. First, the name of this game, Abandoned. What series has been abandoned for years? A great uh, AAA series, Metal Gear. They're saying that uh, all of this abandoned stuff is like there's it's like Sony stealthily of um, of um, um, covering up a Metal Gear Solid remake, and they're pointing to the fact that Blue Box Studios they really recently posted a picture of a character with an eye patch. Um, causing fans to say, uh-oh, Metal Gear Solid. So, time will tell, but this article is saying it'll be revealed tomorrow. Tomorrow, in one day. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't, nobody tweet me on Twitter, Obi-Wan. You were wrong. I'm never wrong. The articles are wrong that I talk about. All right, so, pro, you talking about something that'll compete with Halo for Xbox? And check this out. With Horizon possibly delayed, Sony hasn't come out and confirmed it, but Heavenly pointing to Horizon being delayed, what is going to be Sony's big holiday exclusive? Metal Gear would be huge. Please, if they're not some Metal Gear game, I want some kind of multiplayer third person action, bro, like Rogue Company. That would be amazing. All right. Next. Um, news item. This one was shocking, bro. I had to do a double take. It's being reported that at PlayStation's last quarterly earnings, 71% of their games that were sold were digital. Did you hear what I just said? 71% of PlayStation games sold this last quarter were digital that is a huge number i recently got an all digital ps5 because i do game sharing with my kids on their ps5 i get all digital games bro i get all my games are digital i can't remember last time i bought a physical game but for this to be true digital is growing a lot faster than i expected GameStop's going to have a, cu a tough couple of years. Well, they've been having tough years recently with the whole digital thing. But with Sony going 71% of their sales digital this last quarter, once those numbers start consistently hitting 80 and 90%, once it goes into the 90% threshold, the PS6 is going to be an all-digital console, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So... All digital, 71% um, of the sales were digital this last quarter, which is insane. And the next news item. I thought this was hilarious, bro. Check out what Sody tweeted out on Twitter um, um, on August 7th. It was two days ago. I was in Miami, so I'm just talking about this now. They tweeted out. Hey, what's your plan? And you know what started to trend on Twitter? <laughs> Not a PS5. <laughs> Where is it? People started uh, uh, replying, "Not a PS5," and it started to trend on Twitter. Sony set themselves up for this, bro. PS5s are still like the Loch Ness monster, even though Sony has said they're confident uh, the semiconductor shortage is not going to affect their um output of consoles um dudes are still having a hard time once those ps5s go up for sale they sell out in a matter of minutes i know a couple of dudes who want to get ps5 shout out to the homie gods one of my 2k homies nba 2k homies he can't get a ps5 um but 
um it's been tough bro it's been tough and so um it's um sony set themselves up not a ps5 was trending on twitter for the past few days because sony asks what you playing <laughs> it's almost as if they're teasing their fans haha <laughs> y'all can't get a ps5 all right dudes those are the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out